This is part two of the PhotoParty upload video tutorial. We will be preparing our computers, configuring the helper, and configuring the iPad. So, first things first, we want to make sure that the Windows firewall is disabled. So to do that, we will go to the Start button. We will type in Firewall. There it is right there. We're going to click on Windows Firewall. And to the left, it says turn Windows Firewall on or off. We will click that. And we want to make sure that these two radio buttons are checked. Turn off Windows Firewall. Once those are selected, we hit OK. And we X out. If you're on Windows XP, you'll do something similar. You will click the Start button. You will click on Control Panel. You will click on Windows Firewall and disable the Windows Firewall. Now that that's disabled, the second thing that we need to do is make sure that our computer and our iPad are on the same wireless network. And to do that, we will go down here to the taskbar. We will click on the wireless network icon. Currently connected to the Kingdom. All right, so my wireless network is called the Kingdom. My computer is connected to it. Now I'm going to head over to my iPad and I'm going to hit settings, Wi-Fi, and the kingdom. Alright, now my iPad and my computer are both connected to the same wireless network. Now that that's taken care of, let's configure the helper. I'm going to launch the helper by double clicking the shortcut icon. Okay, and once you do that, the helper will show up down by the clock in the taskbar. And if you don't see it, click on this little arrow right here to say uh, or to show hidden icons. And there it is right there. So I'm going to double click the icon, and it brings me to a sign in screen. Now I'm going to sign in with the same email and password that I used to create my event. So I'm going to type in my email. I'm going to type in my password. And I'm going to select this checkbox right here, keep me signed in, so that I don't have to do this every time uh, I start the program. So I'm going to click Sign In. All right. So I've successfully signed in. Now I'm going to right-click the icon, go to Events, click on Refresh. to make sure that I download the event that I just created. I'll go back, right click, events. There's my event right there, photo shoot for tomorrow. I'm going to make sure that that is selected. And now I'm gonna go back down here and I'm going to right click, configure. And that's going to bring up the configure screen. Now on this screen I can see my selected event is in fact photo shoot for tomorrow. The printer I have selected is the printer that's currently connected to my computer. This is so that I can print directly from the iPads. Now click to change transfer folder. This is the folder on my computer with all of the images that I want to display on the iPads. For example, my camera is connected to my computer. I've created a folder on my desktop called Photoshoot. Every time I take a picture with my camera, it shows up in this folder. Now, I want to click to change transfer folder and I want to select that folder so that every photo that I take with my camera goes into that folder which goes onto the iPads. So I'm going to select photo shoot, the folder I created on my desktop. Then I'm going to hit close. Now let's configure the iPad. I'm going to head over to my iPad. Okay, I'm going to click on the App Store icon and I'm going to search for Photo Party Upload. And there it is right there, Photo Party Upload. I'm going to download that and install it. Okay, so I've installed the PhotoParty Upload iPad application. I'm going to open it. 
and I'm going to click on settings. Here I'm going to log in with my email and password, the same email and password that I've been using. And hit log in. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do when we get to the admin settings screen is hit this auto detect button. So once we hit the auto detect button it says photo party upload searching for helpers. It's searching for our computer right now. It's searching for the helper software that's running on our computer. And it looks like it found my computer, Green Monster. This plus right here, that's if you're running the helper on multiple computers. Say I have two laptops and I want to connect to the helper on the second laptop it would display both computer names and I would select the computer that I wanted to connect to. In this case, uh, there's only one computer running the helper software and it's the Green Monster, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to hit Save. Alright, I'm going to hit Library View. And you can see the photos are beginning to populate on the iPad this icon down here will turn lime green when a photo is transferring and there it goes dark green to let you know that you are connected and awaiting a photo to be transferred into your watched folder so that concludes part two of the photo party upload video tutorial we have successfully linked our software running on our PC to the iPad application we did that by preparing our computer and turning off the Windows firewall and then we connected to the same wireless network. We then configure the helper by changing the transfer folder to the folder where the images will be downloaded from our camera. And then we configured the iPad here in settings to sync with our PC. In part three, we will go over events in more detail, specifically the Facebook integration options. Thanks for watching.